for this video, what I want to do is show you how to find a composite function when one of the functions is a radical function. So for this one, um, when you are dealing with composite functions, it is helpful to remember what your domain is going to be. Um, the domain of your answer or the domain of your composite function is going to be the domain of your input plus the domain of the answer. So for this one, because of the fact that we have a radical function and I can only take the square root of positive values, um, the domain for this one is the domain is all values of x such that x has to be greater than or equal to negative 2 because I can only take the square root of 0 and all positive values. I cannot take the square root of a negative value and get a real number. For this one, because it's a polynomial function, um, a polynomial function has no restrictions, so the domain of this one is um, all values of x such that x is all real numbers. So it's just the set of all real numbers. Um, because I can plug anything in for x, there are no restrictions in here. Okay, so for the first two, because I'm going to find f of g of x and g of f of x, I am going to state the domain. For the second two, I picked values that are already in the domain, so um, I can plug those values into the equation. So for the first two, we're going to just leave it in terms of x. So the first one that we are going to find is f of g, which is really the same thing as finding f of g of x. So what this is telling us is that I'm going to take my g of x equation, the x minus 3, and I'm going to replace my x in the f equation with that value. So I'm going to take my g of x equation, the x minus 3, and I'm going to replace x with x minus 3. So I really am finding x minus 3 plus 2 and then simplifying anything that I can. So for this one, when I simplify inside, I end up with x minus 1. So the domain of my answer for this one is the domain of the input. Well, my input happens to be a polynomial function, so that's all real numbers, as well as the domain of my answer. So for this one, because of the fact um, that we have a radical and we're taking the square root, I can only take the square root of 0 and above, so we end up with x such that x has to be greater than or equal to positive 1. So um, if I tried to plug in a value like negative 5 into here, it would give me an imaginary number, and that would not be an answer that I would be looking for. Okay. Um, so for the next one, what we're going to do is find g of f, and we're just going to leave it in terms of x. So this is really g of f of x. So this time what we're going to do is we're going to take our f of, x, f of x equation, this square root of x plus 2, and we're going to replace the x in the g of x equation with that value. So for this, all I would do is I'm going to replace x with x, the square root of x plus 2 minus 3. I cannot simplify anything, so this would be my final answer. I can't do anything else with this. So as far as the domain for this one goes, remember the domain is what we plugged in. So the domain of my original one is x such that x has to be greater than or equal to negative 2, as well as the domain of the answer. Well, the answer is actually the same domain as what we plugged in. So that would be the domain of our composite function. Okay, um, the last two that I want to do, you can do it two ways. You can either take um, g of f of 2, so I can either start from scratch and plug in my 2, or I could go to the equation g of f and just replace it in this one with the 2. So it really, if you've already done this, you could just go ahead and plug the 2 into here, but I'm going to pretend like we're starting from scratch. So when we find g of f of 2, that tells us that we want to find f of 2 first. So we want to find this value first. So if I found f of 2, that tells me that I want to take the square root of 2 plus 2, which is the square root of 4, and my output is 2. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to find f of 2, and then we're going to take that output and plug it into my g equation. 
Okay, so if I plug into my G equation, the two, I would end up with two minus three, which gives me negative one. And that would be my final answer. I don't have to talk about the domain in this one because I'm not talking about any values of X. We're just finding what is G of F of two. Okay, um, like I said, I could have also taken and plugged it into this equation right here. And if I plugged in two plus two, that would give me the square root of four. The square root of two, four is two and two minus three does give me negative one. So I would have gotten the same answer. The last one that I wanna show you is f of g of nine. So what this tells us that we want to do is we first want to find g of nine. Okay, so we're gonna start with finding g of nine, which tells us that we're gonna go to this equation here and we're going to replace x with nine, so I would do nine minus three. Okay, so we're gonna find g of nine. So that tells me to do nine minus three, which is six. And then we're gonna replace that into my f equation. So I'm gonna find f of six. So into my f equation, which is the square root of x plus two, I'm going to replace x with six. So I'm going to do the square root of six plus two, which is the square root of eight. And depending upon the class that you're in, um, most of the time you're going to leave that as, this as an exact answer. So I'm going to simplify this. This is really four times two, and the square root of four is two, so this simplifies into two radical two. And that's the best way to leave it as, is as an exact answer rather than as an approximate. So um, just to recap, when you're finding composite function, you're going to take whatever the second value is and plug it into the first one. So with this, you can either find it with numbers or you can leave it in terms of x if you are looking for just an equation or a function. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. If there are additional topics you need me to cover, please let me know that as well. And if you get a chance, please subscribe.